Hey guys, welcome back to About the Popcorn. My name is Stephanie. Thank you all for clicking on this video. Now, if you're someone who enjoys talking about film, then how about clicking that subscribe button? So today we're gonna to be talking about part one of Fear Street 1994. <laughs> Fear Street is actually a trilogy that's going to be coming out within the next few weeks on Netflix. Uh, this again is part one, 1994. The interesting thing about this one is that we're actually going to be working our way backwards um, just to kind of get to the beginning of where all this kind of uh, these stories are taking place. I have not seen the trailers for any of these movies. I was not even 100% sure if I was going to watch this show, to be honest with you, because I know I don't like scary stuff, but I do love slashers. We are talking about a series of brutal murders that do happen within this small town. We are following a group of teenagers who are trying to figure out this curse, this plague that's been happening within their town for centuries until one of their own kind of gets, I guess, marked or possessed or... I don't even know what exactly happens to her generally. I mean, I don't know. What is it? She gets touched by this witch. I don't know. Well, technically, she touched the witch by accident. And now the witch and her henchmen are after her. And the friends have to figure out a way to, you know, get this curse lifted. This is one of those movies that you probably should not get used to any of the characters. Because some people die. A lot of people die, actually. And I was actually really, really shocked when certain people died, I was like, oh my god, you actually died. Oh my god, you actually died too. Like, I was not expecting. Now, I'm sure you're going to be hearing this a lot about this movie, but it is going to give you that kind of Scream vibe. Of course, it's not to the level of Scream, but it definitely will kind of give you that, try to channel it, especially um, having that one kid who knows the creepiness. You know, of course, in Scream is he knows horror movies, and then over here, it's like he knows the killings that are happening around the town and who's causing it and you know everybody everything that corresponds with the stories and the hauntings of it so we are having like supernatural things happening within uh, the movie but it's not creepy it's not scary you guys i swear to you because i know yeah i know i don't fuck with scary shit yeah, no way. but i do mess with like slashers like this like saw movies the purge i find these to be really really interesting and fun of course I think it would have been better for this trilogy to have come out like in October during spooky season but it doesn't fully have or it doesn't actually have like that spooky vibe October vibe to it I feel like it is a fun summer movie or fun summer trilogy all three of them are going to be coming out within the month of July so you have that to look forward to again I don't know what part two part three really are about I don't mean part two because they did give like a small little preview and uh, we are going to be in camp and I think we're in the 70s or something like that uh, before I do give you my score of course don't forget to give this video a like subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that I post something new so Fear Street 1994 part one I'm going to give a very very high medium of popcorn I'm also kind of debating to giving it a large to be honest with you but we're gonna hit we're gonna stay with medium we're gonna stay with medium for now We'll see how I feel later on. Um, if you've seen Fear Street Part 1, 1994, let me know down below. What did you think about it? Did you like it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Was it just not for you? That is it for me for now. As a reminder, I do have quite a few reviews coming your way this weekend. All right, guys. Until next time, I'll see you guys at concessions. Bye.